the whole country mobilizes. No age is excluded. All of the energy, all of the resources of the country are focused on one single thing, to keep alive, to win the war. A quarter of a billion dollars is voluntarily contributed by the population. Civilian industry slows down. The army is the people of Israel, not just the soldiers on the front. Civilian trucks now haul supplies and ammunition, not their usual loads. The Air Force, working round the clock, takes over the role of the foot soldier, buying vital time on the ground. Then it goes back to its usual role of commanding the skies. The Navy also acts quickly. In the first missile-to-missile -missile battles in the history of naval war, it almost completely destroys the Syrian Navy and seriously damages the Egyptian Navy. From the very beginning of the war, the Israeli Navy is in command of the sea. Meanwhile, the ground forces, as usual, do their job at a very high cost. This time, at a very high cost. And a musician sometimes uses just the sound of music, a simple, quiet melody, to say a prayer in his way. The times now in Israel are not easy. The times ahead may be as difficult or maybe more. No one knows. But one thing you should know and believe, you are not alone. And though you have suffered your wounds yourself, there is not a single Jew in any country in the world that at this second is not with you. And in all the other countries, whatever their governments may say or do, there are people who know what it means to fight for what they believe in and what is right.